is Matthew and Godzilla 2021 advent calendar day number 21 is none other than the low lock crate loot crate uh, reactor glow Godzilla glow in the dark figure or I guess by its full name um so interesting stories how I got this I ordered the NECA Shin Godzilla right and that um and it was taking a little while so they sent this as it um as a thing to wait on and like wait on the Shin Godzilla and whatnot and so I basically got this guy for free that was years ago by the way I still haven't gotten that NECA Shin Godzilla although I keep getting teased with figures that are exactly like it this is the NECA Atomic Blast Godzilla this is the NECA Sh uh, uh, not NECA Playmate Shin Godzilla shout out to um, my sister for getting me this and uh, I got this guy on my own accords but when am I ever going to talk about this thing again um so yeah task at hand here and this thing is amazing uh, first up the mold I know some people have a gripe with the mold saying oh it's not accurate oh uh, it's stupid it doesn't look anything like it the 94 95 or whatever have you have you guys ever heard of stylization because from what I've seen clearly not like it's they tried their best remember this was an American studio at the time taking their first crack at a uh, on a Heisei Godzilla or classic Godzilla because prior to this they made or like the 94 I'm talking about they made the 2014 and uh, that's all the experience they had prior to it so this is actually pretty dang close to a Heisei Godzilla at least when it comes to like that sort of thing uh, the the mold is beautiful. I love all the crisp details and glossy paint and whatnot. Um, the bur the burning patches. Can you even call them burning patches? I guess the glowy patches. Let's actually call them that. The glowy patches are really well solid as well. Um, interesting thing to note here is that even though it looks like it's black with green um, plastic infused with it. That's actually not the case. This whole figure is actually translucent and green, or well, not the entire thing, but a big majority of this whole figure is translucent green with black paint to match the plastic that the 94 and 95 figures used. And the way to prove this is actually by looking at this little gap in uh, right in his uh, stomach region, you can kind of see that. It's like all green. And uh, this part is all painted on, which is amazing. NECA really knocked that out of the park. Um, I also like his uh, bluish claws. Yeah, they're really blue. Uh, the blue cl claws right there, right there. I really like that. His face looks mean as all heck. And while his tail could be longer, honestly, this is a pretty okay length. Um, it's nothing too um, outright uh terrible it's nothing outright magnificent great it's just okay at least in terms of tail length the articulation is pretty kick butt too i uh, have like two uh joints in the head one and two uh and i already pointed this out but if you pop off the head it turns out the neck isn't actually a joint but rather a sleeve to cover a barbell style ball joint so there's a ball joint here and here which are just one uh singular peg um there's also a jaw hinge, and interesting enough, if you also pop off the head, there's actually a groove at the back of the uh, head where it allows him to look up more. I demonstrated one of my reviews of this guy in the past. Uh, for, uh, let's see, arm movement, you have a uh, ball joint at the shoulder, ball joint hinge joint at the bicep, ball joint hinge joint at the elbow, a ball joint at the wrist, a hinge at the finger so this is probably the most articulated arm in Nekagodzilla history um, barbell style ball joint at the waist you can go shift side to side lots of cool motion uh, in and out with the legs up and down side to side and whatnot 
ball joint hinge joint combo at the knee ball uh, ball joint at the foot and one two three four segments of ball joints from here to here and from here on out it's just pure bendy wire I'm not gonna uh, I've never actually bent this thing on this Godzilla because I don't want the wire breaking and not to mention this is actually the rarest Godzilla in all NECA history even though nowadays all of them are pretty dang rare <laughs> at least for affordable prices remember I got this thing for free free so I'm pretty pleased with that um I guess that's something I can brag about all day long. <laughs> um, so anyways, that's all I really have to say for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if, I can, if I could put out a recommendation, yes. If you can find this thing for a good price, which good luck with that. Uh, that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in, in tomorrow's uh, Godzilla 2020, 2021 advent calendar. See you guys later.